Ruth Crawford clears for the Wildcats. Northwestern will live and die with Tony Roten taking that shot all night long. That's not his strength. Scout report says make him take that shot. John Sherna gets the three. And then there's the flip shot. Eight of their 18 games coming in here tonight. What have you seen from Northwestern over that span? I've seen them improve. They lost so many close games. Illinois by one, Michigan by two. The list goes on and on. They beat Michigan State. They lost to Purdue by two. At Indiana by five. John Sherna, quick trigger on a three. Uh, at almost 40%, and they hold their opponents under 40%. They're the only team in the country that shoots it that well and defends that well. Sherna, a three, his first field goal. John Sherna gets the three. Sherna with the steal, leading it ahead. Easy lay-in for Alex Blanco Tulio. It's excruciating. Akron loses it by one in their conference championship game. And of course, Northwestern was holding their breath about getting into the tournament. But we got a little history here, Mike. John Sherna told me they've seen very little of this season and had very little practice time. That cut. <laughs> Trying to get seventh and should be pointed out they were Northwestern one and eight versus the top 25 on the RPI and they were 17 and five against the rest of their schedule but they did not lose a game to a team that was below 100. Sure a great pass. What a look to come. When that ball went through, heck of a possession. They were pestered the whole time and still got a three out. Abreu looked at the shot clock with seven seconds and he kept the clock in his head. Sherna. Whatever you can do, I can do from Because he's a really good defender. Made the all Big Ten freshman team this year. Wildcats by one. This is Crawford back to Sherna. Can he hit it from the same spot again? It's without him, but he's holding that left shoulder. I mean, after all, he's got 27 points on the night. Sherna. What a touch. Mark there. As soon as he saw the rebound, he moved up into the zone, which is huge in playing against the zone. You don't back up, you go into it. A quick answer. You need to take that pass fake or shot fake and, and dig into the zone and create something for others. Six-point lead for Minnesota. 11.45 to go here in the first half. Big Ten tournament, third game of the day. Indiana with an impressive win earlier. Sherna sinks it. Three-pointer. He's... He was determined. He rebounded on the defensive end and sprinted to his spot right block. Davide Coletti let him in there, and he just attacked Elias and did. He just went right at Coletti. That's a big-time move for a young freshman. Five-point lead for Minnesota. Sherna, yes! Count that, and he'll go to the line. He tries to give a little stutter step. He has nine rebounds, by the way. That ties a career high. He's a completely different guy. You know, the two a days that you talked about, Dave, have really helped he and Howard. Well, Sherna with that great touch along the baseline. Said a little bit inside baseline screen for Williams. Northwestern didn't make the switch or the bump. Cost him two. Sherna, hard drive to his right, scoops in two. Yeah, really. Yeah, I keep talking. Across the lane. That's Sherna, the rebound. Yeah, and I like the effort to get the ball inside McCabe has to finish that shot but that's one area you can exploit with this Northwestern defense is getting baskets in the paint so Belusky sets it up this is sure enough oh, the quick trigger he got a diagonal pass from 25 feet out thread the needle of your zone all the way down to the baseline it can't happen Crawford three and boy do the Wildcats need that one. We stop. Exactly. It, it worked for us, but we're hampering ourselves by not executing properly offensively. Well, Jim, that's the thing I thought just watching that first half. 
All of a sudden, Iowa's in a great flow against the zone, and then all of a sudden, they hesitated. From the outside, Crawford.